what's up guys welcome back to dirtworks tv so today we're going to be going over how to build the retaining wall this one is one of our favorites of course the large block retaining walls if you stick around to the end we'll go over kind of how to bid these jobs we won't necessarily give you the price that we use because your area is going to differ but we'll give you the breakdown of how we bid this job and go from there but we appreciate it so much as always don't forget to like subscribe share um, comment below any questions you got we love the feedback any question doesn't matter criticism at all we set we accept all of it so like you said stick around to the end get the breakdown of how to bid these jobs so yeah as we can see when we put over the time lapse we um we're just carving out the face of everything digging out the back side of the wall so we got plenty of room to work in there so we can get everything graded correctly nice and flat um you can see in the after we get everything cut out of the wall we we put in some gravel we used uh crushed concrete for the base and we used that i think we went eight inches thick and then getting everything ready get it all graded level hit it with the laser compact it hit it again with the laser and then get everything prepped so we can start setting our blocks and stuff um and this one we uh had two guys on this one made it really nice simple fast i've done a couple of these by myself wasn't too bad just makes a little bit of more effort you got to get it in on the machine but yeah we'll we'll rock some of the video and then at the end we'll get down to the, the bidding breakdown of the job They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you Who are you to tell me how to live life? In these times it feels like nobody is right, yeah So I'ma figure out what else we succeed And then invest all of my time into that and proceed I need whatever the hell could make me happy And I don't think you have a clue what could that be They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate me all right what's up guys all right so the way to bid these jobs is how we do it anyways is we bid so first off we go there take a look at the job get the measurements on how many blocks we're going to need so we'll measure it out how long which these blocks right here are two feet wide by two feet high by four feet long so we bid the entire length of it um measured the height that we're going to need so the way we do it is we calculate how much it's going to cost for each block and then break down the price of that and for these like on this job we haul them in ourselves so we charge a little bit extra for the transportation and typically a lot of times like what i'll do is i'll add in a little bit extra for each block so we're making money on each block also just to pat the profits a little bit just to make sure we're making money on it just in case something happens or whatever it's just always better to be safe than sorry and then You'll need to price out the the rest of your materials, so the gravel for the base and all that stuff. And then this one, we backfilled it with one inch round stone. So we add all the price in for the materials on that. And if you're hauling the stuff yourself, add in enough for transportation costs and stuff, the trucking. And then also, I mean, the rest of the breakdown is you just add in the man hours you think it's going to take to do the job. Like if you're super new to this, then I mean, you'll kind of have to, I mean, just guess how many main hours you're gonna have into it but most of the time if you've done a bunch of them you'll kind of know what you're gonna have into it so yeah you add in like the man hours and i mean that has to include like at the end like clean up and stuff like this one we had to come back and like sweep the entire driveway the road and stuff because it's in a really nice housing area so our cleanup had to be really good and, and then you price in how like for this one we had two machines out there so you get the price in for what you charge per hour for the machines to match your main hours of what you think you'll be using the machines and stuff or you could just do one lump sum cost or whatever whatever i guess the customer 
wants or will accept is the correct way to do it but yeah so break all that down and then like this one at the end we had to like put some geo grid fabric down on the ground and then put a bunch of landscape stone and grade all out so the drainage would drain correctly because they had issues with that in the past and stuff so yeah that pretty much sums it up i mean material cost main hours and what you charge per hour with your machine and operator and stuff like that but yeah if you enjoyed our video don't forget to check out the ones we got at the end screen um check out our playlist watch we have a ton of how-to videos anything pretty much related to excavating and all that good stuff like i said don't forget to like subscribe share anything above we appreciate it as always dirtworks tv 2023